Whoa, yeah, zingo, that's what I'm talking about. OP7, we got the other half of this case. This is what a half of a case looks like next to my head. If you're wondering how much bigger a half of a case is than my head, this gives you the perfect scale. You can see it right here. Anyway, thanks for coming by. You know, something I realized I should supposed to be doing but I never ask is ask you or tell you to subscribe to my channel. So if you haven't subscribed and you like coming here and watching Shrippums or if this is your first time hearing the word Shrippum and you're like, what is Shrippum? And you wanna see it every week, you can push that little subscription button. It really helps me out, helps the channel out. But let's get right into it. It's time to Shrippum. I wanna see what's in here. Last week we opened half of this case I'm still wearing the same shirt. And you might say to yourself, Joku, that's disgusting. Bless him. Why didn't you change your shirt all week? Well, to tell you the truth, I did not need to because I'm actually recording this video right after I recorded the last one. They get released a week apart because I got to kill time to, to until the next set comes out. Set six is coming out soon. I should have set six to open. This looks like something shiny. It is, a, oh, raw, Trafalgar raw. Wow, that is a pretty, pretty shiny card. Very beautiful. Look at that texture. That is insanity. Really nice looking. So we could still get a leader in here. We opened one leader last week, which means there's probably one more leader in this case. I would love really any of them. All the leaders look sick. All the leaders from this set look totally sick. Boa looks awesome. Dragon looks awesome. Vegapunk looks awesome. We got Luchi, who I probably would say I was the least hyped about out of all the leaders, but that's okay. It's like that sometimes, you know? Save that energy for the English deck. We pulled two Boa alt arts, which was crazy. And yeah, oh, 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 yes, yes. I wanted to pull more of these last week. We only got one. When I say last week, it was only a couple minutes ago, actually. But I only have one of these so far, so I'm happy to have another one. That's my favorite SR from this set, undoubtedly. Close second to Boa. Boa is also really, 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 really fun looking. So it's great to get that one as well. And is there going to be an alt art leader in here? There's <sighs> only a few ways to find out, and it's to shrip them. Or we could just start tripping them in another box and put these packs aside. And then if we don't get one, we come back and strip these later, which is what I think I'm going to do. All right, so put these over here. That was fun. Box number one, we got an alt art law. There's going to be one more uh, secret rare in these boxes. And I believe it's going to be an ace because we just pulled one ace so far. Usually in a Japanese case, you get, bless them, two of each secret rare. That's generally the ratio or trend or whatever. I'm going to put this over here. I'll do a review of all the cards we pulled in the case at the end of this video so you can see everything. So if you're like, man, I don't want to watch you open cards. I just want to see all the hits. You can just fast forward to the end of the video and scrub past me talking and shrippaming or whatever. And then you can see all the hits. I don't care, it doesn't matter to me that much. Ooh, 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 that's the alt art Sabo. Let's put the regular Sabo next to it for comparison purposes. And yep, I like the regular Sabo better. This is cool, the art's cool, but this just looks like so dynamic. See, it looks like he's like coming out of the card. He's like popping out of the card. I like the stylization of the character more in this one also. So cool to have the alt art, but I actually like the regular art better. Don. And I think the last the last box with a secret had an alt art leader in it. So I would wager to say there's a good chance that we're going to see an alternate art leader in this box. What do you say, gang? Let me know in the comment section below. Is the alt art leader in the box with a secret rare in set seven Japanese cases? Is it like that sometimes or is it like that all the times? The only way to find out is to strip them as many packs as we possibly can. I hope I get two more of those Luffy SRs because right now I just have two and I want to play Vegapunk and that card's insane. If I remember correctly, you like kill something, draw something, play them for free. Hoof, hoof. Woof, big woof. I don't know what any of the CP9 stuff does. I'm probably not gonna play Robert Lucci. Robert Lucharian, probably not on my watch, realistically. I'm not much of a black player, honestly. I, I, the, I have liked it combined with other colors. I am probably gonna play Black Yellow Luffy. Black Yellow Luffy looks really fun. 
Are we going to see the alt art in here? Is it going to happen? The alt art leader? Oh, dragon. Sick. We haven't pulled the dragon SR yet. This card's kind of cracked as well. It basically does what the leader does, but he has rush also. It's kind of nuts. Let's see. I'm opening the blossom. Nope. Nope. No, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, and we haven't seen this Lilith either. Wow, what a gorgeous card. I feel like there's a lot of cards that we haven't seen yet. A lot of SR, so I guess the alt art is not in the secret box, guaranteed. It's not like that. I cannot confirm that. Actually, I can confirm that it's not that way because we've opened all the... Oh, wait, wait. That wasn't actually a secret box. That was an alt art box because we pulled the Sabo alt art, right? So, so that doesn't actually count as a secret. That counts as an alternate art slot. So we may still, there may still be consistency. Let's see, bless him. We should still be coming up on one alt art or one regular secret at some point here in these next four boxes, which is kind of a woof. You really, you really don't get that many alt arts in Japanese cases these days. Kind of, kind of a bummer. I wish they put more alt arts in here, but you know, it makes it more exciting for when the English stuff comes out. I'm way more excited to open. Like, it makes both of them exciting, right? I'm excited to open Japanese stuff because it's the first time I'm seeing the cards. And I love seeing the cards for the first time. It's a very exciting experience for me, and I'm so grateful that I get to share it with you all. I hope you enjoy it, too. Here's an alternate art leader. All right, please, uh, Boa. He's packing. All right, at least the good thing about pulling this card is we can take a close look at it and evaluate what's going on here. We can take a close look and try and figure out exactly what is going on here. Was that intentional? I mean, I guess Foxy wears his gun there, but that is, um, that's like the Little Mermaid all over again. I don't know if you've seen the cover of the Little Mermaid, the original Little Mermaid cover, but there's something in the art that maybe doesn't need to be there kind of thing, but you know, he's proud. He's proud of it. And I'll give him that. He does it with confidence. All right. Absolute confidence. Foxy, the absolute confident pirate. And he does have confidence. That's true. Whoa, yeah. Zingo. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, that is sick. That is sick. What an insanely cool card. The texture on here is so cool. It's so futuristic. And it's Oda art on here. There's no, there's no alternate art artist. This is Oda's art on an alternate art in the set. Yeah, this is my favorite alt art in the set. Pulled it. Sick. Actually like that more than the manga rare maybe even. Wow. Another dragon. Great, we need another one of those. That's hype. That's super hyper. What a great case this has been so far. I really lucked out 500 years in the future. Beautiful. We did pull two of the same, but the one that we pulled that was the same was Boa. So that's great. No problems there. But that Luffy, oh man, I need an English place out of that. That is gonna, that's gonna be a must. That's gonna be a must have need. Must have need, gotta have it, gotta need it so badly. But that makes three, I think, of those that I have so far. So I still need to pull one more SR. We've got two Dragons SRs, SRs so far in this case, and only one Lilith. And I need my Liliths for the deck, for sure. So hopefully hopefully we see a couple more Liliths. I got some packs on the side here. I was going to save. I like to have a couple sealed packs. So maybe we'll just crack those because we may need to search for a couple more Liliths. And maybe another Luffy, possibly. Let's see. Or I may just wait till it comes out in English. Who knows if I'll actually play the game in Japanese. Is there an SR in here? Yeah, there's another Luffy. Great. Very good, very, very well. Very excellent, very awesome. All right, so that's our play set of Luffy's. Now we need Liliths. Liliths and two more dragons, please. And whatever alt arts, whatever. We'll see what's in here, who knows. Who possibly could ever know? There's gonna be one more box with a secret, but it's not gonna have an alternate art leader because we already pulled Blessing, the second alt art leader. So that uh, theory has been debunked no more validity to that theory. So you can get, uh, there's Ace. That's probably out of these packs, but I need SR, so I gotta trip them out. Gotta, we gotta trip them, we gotta see it all. 
We gotta see everything that's in here. Lilith, please, please be a Lilith in this box. Or a dragon, I would be happy with. But we've literally only seen one Lilith out of this whole case. Is she that elusive? Is it the most elusive Vegapunk emerging from the seas to save or capture the Straw Hats? Egghead, what an insane arc. What an absolutely insane arc. And to, to the way that it follows up Wano, there's just, it's just an Easter egg arc on Egghead Island. How many eggs? So many eggs. I actually really like that ace art that we just pulled. It's a good one. I heard Foxy's kind of nuts. I heard the Foxy deck kind of goes off. But TBD, the set just came out in Japanese. There haven't been many tournament results. There's our other dragon. That's three dragons. Very good. Yeah, there haven't been too many tournament results, so we don't really know what's that great yet. But my money's on Vegapunk. Ooh, another boa. That's two boas. Then we got the two altar boas. So that's a play set of boas. Now we just need Liliths. Where are they? We need. We literally need as many Liliths as, as possible. As we can possibly get. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know if we're going to see more. I don't know how necessary that card is in the deck either. But I imagine all the SRs for Vegapunk are pretty necessary. I don't know. If you if you've, if you you have played Vegapunk. We got a lot of that. What's it? Posh? Poosh? Poshy? Potion? There's a Lilith. That's two. We just need two more. Two more Liliths. And we're basically good to go. I don't think you play four dragons in the dragon deck. and I, well, Maybe you do. But I feel like three would be fine um i would like to pull a dragon altar it would be cool because that is i'm pretty sure akira egawa drew the dragon altar which i do like collecting akira egawa altarts i think collecting by artist is a really cool thing to do in this game so you could do that i'm doing it I'm trying to get all the akira egawa alts but man that the egghead luffy is Bless him. Best. Best alt. Best alt in the set. So glad we got to see it here on the Joku Shrippum Extravaganza Part 2 Set 7 One Piece card game. To shrip him. I'm a shrippum machine. Have you ever seen somebody shrippum like this? I can even do double shrippums. I don't know. If you guys want to see my double shrippum trick? Well, I can't hear an answer. So, you know what? I'm going to go for a triple shrippum. Check this out. Ready for this? Triple shrippum. Whoa. That was clean. You don't see that every day in Shrippum technology. Anything cool in here? We got a Frankie and a Law and just a bunch of rares. That's what happens when you triple Shrippum. But you get through three packs just like that. Can you do it again? Can we do a quad Shrippum? I don't think it's, I don't know if that's physically possible. Whoa, I got five here. Let's just go for six. A Hex Shrippum. This sounds insane. I no, nobody's ever done this before in the history of Shrippuming. No, it's not possible. Too much. I'm not strong enough. Let's see if I can do four. Four might be possible. Oh, God. Yeah, it's possible. Not as clean as the three. That was a clean three right off the bat. But that was that was a quad shrippum, which we now know is possible. That ace. I love this ace. This ace looks really dope. Yeah, quad shrippum is real. So if anybody ever tries to tell you that quad shrippum is impossible, I recommend... Ooh, Sengoku. What does he do? He seems like a searcher. I hope he's not a searcher. They do not need any more searchers. Just make him do um, on play something. On play something annoying. All right, Lilith. Don't really care too much about that altar. I'm gonna be, gonna be honest. It's that one. The altar of that. Where's our Lilith? Lilith, come to me. We haven't pulled many SRs yet from this box. And there's one box left, and the last box is going to have an altar in it because we pulled all four of the secrets. So at least we have something to look forward to. We know it's gonna be a, an alt art and not just a secret box. Lilith, no. Poochie, or whatever her name is. Pochi, Poacher, Pochita. It's not Pochita, Pochita's from Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Guy. Got a lot of those Sanjas. He is a 2K. It's a pretty cool card, actually. He becomes really cheap to play. And he's a 2k in hand, which is great. Still see, we've seen a lot of those. Come on, how about another Lilith? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Is it here? It is not. Is it in the Blessum? Is there a Lilith in the Blessum? Could it be? Not that. Nope. One box left. 
We've got what I'm definitely gonna have to get into those packs. I don't need to keep Japanese packs sealed. It's fine. It's fine. This set's too much fun to open. I just want to strip them all of it. All right, last box, and then we'll do a review. Oh, oh, quick, uh, quick, exciting thing. I made business cards. This is my new business card. I'm a dentist. Can't end without a dental tooth tip, and I'll do that at the end. But see, I'm a dentist in, in Princeton, New Jersey. So come on by. I'll give you my business card. The, the idea is that it's so uh, comfortable to get dental work done for me that it's as easy as Luffy and Brooke just drinking some milk and restoring their teeth to health. That's the idea. Bless them. I don't know if that message comes across clearly, but that was the hope. Bless them for my business, for my new age business card. That Because that business card does kind of look like it's from 500 years in the future. If you ask me, if you asked me about that. What's the last alt art going to be? Maybe a Lilith? That would be cool. That would get our playset, I think. That would be the fourth Lilith. Then we'd have all four Liliths. Another Sabo. Come on. That's lame. Bummer. All right, well, at least we got the Luffy. We got the Luffy and the Boas in last week, so I'm not going to be mad. Can't be bummed about that. That's what eBay is for. eBay is where you get your Liliths, I guess. Anything else here? What do we got? What could we possibly have? Another Lilith SR, please. And thank you. At least one more. Because if there's one more here, I feel like they usually give you a playset of each SR in a case. That's generally the trend. So there should be a Lilith and a dragon in this box, I think. There's our dragon. And where's our Lilith? Come to me, Lilith. That's three. That means there's probably a Lilith in these packs over here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pivot. I'm going to pivot from these packs to these packs because I believe there is a Lilith in these packs. That's my theory. Where are you, Lilith? You got to be in here. I have faith. I have faith that the One Piece card game would give me... Nope. I have the faith that the One Piece card game will give me four Liliths in a case. Wouldn't you please? If you could, please... And thank you? No? Alright, this is about one box of cards, so let's put these away at least. And then let's find the Lilith in these packs. It's got to be in here now. Wouldn't you say that? About that? Maybe? There's a Dawn. Dawn! Seven Warlords of the Sea. Lilith? Dragon? Another dragon? That's five dragons now. I think there could still be an SR in here. We got like three packs left. It's possible. It is slightly possible. Is it in here? Lilith, please? No. All right, what about in last week's packs? Because I'm keeping those sealed. So I have a couple sealed packs. Is there a Lilith in here? No. Last chance. Second, well, second to last chance. This is the last chance. Lilith, please. I just want my play set. It's a Dawn. Well, that's cool. All right. Well, that's it for shrimping because we did get a Lilith in that box, so that means there's definitely not another one in there. You know, actually, have you pulled two SRs? Nah, I doubt it. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. Uh, teeth don't actually get restored by drinking milk. It, it doesn't work like that. Not in the story. And don't hold swords in your mouth. Zoro does that. Um, I do think Zoro is a great role model in a lot of ways. In holding swords in your teeth, he's not because you can really damage your teeth. Um, but here's the Lilith from Kaizoku Cards. Oh, I said we'd do a review of all the cards we pulled. Let's do that. All of our Dawn here. And then we got two Boas, which was pretty cool to see those. It's a beautiful card. Happy to pull two of these. Um, the Nami SP was a super hot pull. Alt Art Luchi, which don't really care about. Alt Art Frankie, which definitely care about. This law is really good looking. Unfortunately, we got two of these Sabos, which I don't actually really care for this art this much, but I know David will like it. So maybe birthday present. Uh, Packin Foxy, best card in the set, undoubtedly. Jichan, whatever, Grandpa, Goku, Sengoku. Best card. So happy to fold it. Anyway, thanks for coming to check it out. I'll see y'all in the next one. For set six English, I think.